Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to find the equation of a tangent line to a graph that's parallel to a given line. The function that we're analyzing is f of x equals x plus 1 over x minus 1. Knowing that we're going to be looking for the equation of a tangent line means that we're going to have to know the derivative of f of x equals x plus 1 over x minus 1, which I found in a different video. You can follow the link to the other video to see how we came to this result, which is that f prime of x is equal to negative 2 over the quantity x minus 1 squared. So let's jot that down, and now let's talk about the information that we have and what we need to find. The derivative gives us the slope of the tangent line if we plug in a particular value of x. Notice that they're asking us for the equation of a tangent line. To find the equation of a tangent line, you need the slope and you need a point. Well, we have a formula for the slope, but we don't know at what point we're looking for the equation of the tangent line. So that's where this information is going to come into play. We need a tangent line that's parallel to the line that we were given. So we need one that's parallel to 2y plus x equals 6, meaning it has the same slope. So let's go ahead and figure out the slope of this line. This line is 2y equals negative x plus 6, or dividing through by 2, y is negative 1 half x plus 3. So this line, which is not the line we're looking for, but it's related to our line in the sense that it has the same slope. This line has the slope negative 1 half. So we want a tangent line that has a slope of negative 1 half. So let's go ahead and find where our derivative actually equals negative 1 half. So we have an equation to solve. Where does the slope of the tangent line equal the derivative? Where does negative 1 half equal negative 2 over x minus 1 squared? Well this happens to be a proportion. As long as x doesn't equal 1, we can just go ahead and uh, cross multiply here. And we see that we have negative 4 equals the opposite of x minus minus 1 squared, or in other words, positive 4 is x minus 1 squared. I can go ahead and use the uh, square root property. So since x minus 1 squared is 4, that must mean x minus 1 is either positive or negative square root of 4 or 2. So either x minus 1 is 2 or x minus 1 is negative 2. That means x could be 3 or negative 1. So there are actually two places where our tangent to our function f of x has a slope of negative 1 half. This would explain why they asked us to find equations, plural, of tangent lines. So we have two tangent lines to find, the one at x equals 3 and the one at x equals negative 1. You can either use the um, point slope form of the line or y equals mx plus b. I prefer to use y equals mx plus b, but either way the answer will be the same in the end. So what I'm suggesting is that we use the x-coordinate, the y-coordinate, and the slope, and then solve for b. Now I have my x-coordinates, but I need to plug into my original function, not the derivative. We know that if we plug these values into the derivative, we get negative one-half. We need to plug these into the original function to find out the corresponding y value. So for example, the y value when x is equal to 3 is f of 3. So y is equal to 3 plus 1 over 3 minus 1, which is 4 over 2 or 2. So this tells us that the x and y coordinates are 3, 2. So plugging into y equals mx plus b, we know that 2, the y coordinate, must be equal to negative 1 half times the x coordinate 3 plus whatever b happens to be. So this is negative 3 halves plus b. Adding 3 halves to both sides, b is 2 plus 3 halves, or in other words, 7 halves. So we now have our b, and we know m. So the first tangent line, the one that corresponds to the point 3, 2, is going to be y equals negative 1 half, that's our m, times x plus 7 halves. That's the first equation, but there are two. Let's figure out what's happening when x is negative 1. When x is negative 1, we want to find our y value. We want to find our y value for when x is negative 1. So plugging into our function, we'll have negative 1 plus 1 over negative 1 minus 1. So that's going to be 0 over negative 2, or just 0. So we just found that our function and our tangent line that we're looking for go through the point negative 1, 0. So plugging into y equals mx plus b, we're going to have 0 equals our slope of our tangent 
right-hand line, negative 1 half times our x-coordinate, negative 1, plus b. This means 0 equals 1 half plus b, so in this case, b is negative 1 half. So we just found that at the point negative 1, 0, that the equation of the tangent line is y equals negative 1 half x, remember that was the slope of our tangent line, plus our b that we found, which is also negative 1 half. So there's the second equation of the tangent line. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to like it. Remember, you can leave your questions in the comment section below.